If you're looking for an awesome place to come hang out in Maine that has an amazing food scene, lots of fun things to do like arts and shops and theater, and they even have a singing piano bar in the evenings, you gotta come take a look at a gunk. Algonquit derives its name from Algonquin Indians, is one of the prettiest places to visit on the southern coast of Maine. Algonquit loosely translates to the beautiful place by the sea, which perfectly describes the area. Algonquit is ranked as one of the best coastal towns in America, famed for its scenic coast, art galleries, colonial architecture, and amazing restaurants. Algonquit is regarded as the most walkable city in Maine with its flat beaches and awesome downtown area. Algonquit Beach is three and a half miles and is a central point of attraction for tourists and TripAdvisor ranks it among the top 25 beaches in America. We're going to start on the southern part at a great place called Perkins Cove. Perkins Cove is a special place. It's an old fishing village and you can stay at some of these amazing hotels and take the pedestrian bridge across to Perkins Cove to the quaint little village where there's restaurants and artisan shops. Just a really fun place to go spend the afternoon. It's one of my family's favorite places to get together, hang out, and have an awesome lunch. With the view, you can just sit here for hours taking in the scenery. As you approach, you'll see that it's very touristy, very eclectic, amazing restaurants all around you. Parking is a premium down here, so um, you're going to want to take that into consideration. But you might also want to consider walking the marginal way, which we'll discuss in a minute. But as you come up, you can see awesome shops everywhere. Let's just roll through Perkins Cove and take a look at the beauty. As we leave Perkins Cove and head into town, we come across the Marginal Way, which I just mentioned. Marginal Way is about a mile and a quarter, mile and a half walk that takes you from almost downtown right into Perkins Cove. So you can take this on a beautiful day and just take a look at the scenery that's here. It will take you a while because you're going to be stopping every second for pictures because it's beautiful. And you'll see the tail end of Agunqua Beach right there. As we roll into the center of town, it's always bustling with people, uh, amazing restaurants on either side, so much to do down here, so much to explore, amazing hotels right on the water, across from the water, so much to do, and everything is within walking distance, that's why they call it the most walkable city in Maine. So I'm sitting at the epicenter of Agunquit right now, where Route 1 comes together right in downtown. As you can see, it's a quaint place. Uh, lots of excellent restaurants around here. That road brings you down to the beach. It's what's called Beach Street. And this one right here, this will bring you down to uh, Perkins Cove, the front porch. Not only do they have great food over there, but you know, the nightlife is fun. They got the piano player doing cover tunes and everything. Really a fun place, energetic crowd, always fun. So this place, I'm gonna try to eat through all the restaurants here in my lifetime. I don't know if I'll make it through. I haven't found a bad meal here yet. So. Come take a look. Let's go explore around a little bit. Cornerstone is definitely worth a mention. They're not open right now. It's a little bit before their opening time. Uh, we'll come back and do a video on them alone. Uh, but awesome place to sit outside, enjoy the fresh air, and have a kick-ass pizza. As we stroll through town, there's awesome shops and really lots of places to sit down and people watch. Everybody here is always friendly and very accommodating. Yeah. We're gonna work our way through a couple of these shops so you can see the inside. I love supporting the local businesses and that's what we strive to do here, uh, is to support local and to bring exposure to the cities in Maine that we work in. We're gonna make our way to one of my favorite little places, um, Mornings in Paris. They have, not only here do they have a great little place, they also have one up in Kennebunk, right outside of Kennebunk Port. Um, so let's go in here and get ourselves a little snacky snack because, well, that's just what we do. 
they get everything that you would imagine. They get the macaroons, amazing croissants and different pastries. And you know what they have? One of my favorite crepes. Don't tell my doctor this one, but uh, we got to check out the candy store. Uh, we're going to let our blood sugar spike a little bit. Why not? We're on vacation. When you're up here, it's vacation every day. So come in and take a look at the candy store. They have all sorts of great things that you would expect. Seeing it's October, there's a lot of Halloween stuff going on. If you're interested in this kind of content and you're liking this so far, consider subscribing to the channel and stay up to date with the other videos that we are putting out. And if you're interested in what real estate looks like in the area, I'll leave a link down below so you can take a look at the homes in and around Agunkwe. When you're staying in a gunkwid or you need lunch, the village food market has everything that you would need and all good stuff, all top notch stuff. Uh, but they have all the wine, all the dairy and cold products that you would imagine. They have all the sandwiches and breakfast items that you would need. They also have an amazing bakery section. And let me tell you, I can eat it all. Doesn't that stuff look good? But they also have this prepared food section with all sorts of great things to go so when you're going down to the beach grab your lunch but if you're cooking dinner at home have no those tomahawk <laughs> ribeyes my goodness they have everything that you would need um, so make sure you check them out so now we got to go walk off some of these calories we're going to make our way down beach street dairy and king. come down to <laughs> you know the dairy king <laughs> makes me laugh every time uh, but we're coming down and there's a great little little area down here there's parking down here a lot of people come here to watch the tides come in or go out but it's a great beach always attracts people always people here and it's a long beach. There's a lot of beach here. Three and a half miles of absolutely awesome, pristine beach. Let's take a look at it. If we leave town and we head north just a little bit, there is the Footbridge Beach, which is also another cool place. There's really not many amenities down here, so you're going to want to make sure you have your cooler packed. Uh, there is a restroom uh, right after you cross the bridge before you get to the beach, but it's another cool place to come hang out. Usually a little bit less crowded. Parking though is a premium, so ensure that you're going to be uh, bringing some money to pay for your parking. Just miles of awesome beach. And as we swing around, look at those waves. As we swing around, we will see where we just were a moment ago on the southern part of Agunqua Beach. Right down there. Hey, if you like what we're doing and talking about here and supporting local towns and Maine, go ahead and give us a follow. We're gonna keep this series going and taking a look at all the different towns along the sea coast and inland and bringing awareness to all of those and the little villages and the cool local shops. So if there's a place that you might suggest, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. On to the next episode. I'll see you there.